My name is Emily Chepto. I am with the Fairy Pioneer Forage Club from Bikini County. My presentation is on how to make hair ties. I would now like to begin to tell you how to make hair ties. What you need is ponytails, ribbon, picking shears, and a rope. First what you do is divide the ribbon and the ponytails. Then you measure and cut the ribbon. I cut mine nine inches long. So you can tie it twice and so it can Then you tie the ribbon onto the ponytail. Like this. And I normally have nine and ten ribbons on my ponytail. Then you can put it in your hair like this one. Now more about my project. I have taken this project and I have started to sell these for four dollars. They cost about a dollar fifty to make. To make one though, you have to buy the spool, the ribbon, and the ponytail. That cost is about six dollars. You can make about four hair ties and ponytail. I sell these hair ties at you for you. That also ties back with color. I pick my by the, the teams of those events. And you can see that I have and some of those. I started selling because I needed money to go to this awesome basketball camp. I met this girl and went to the camp in July. It was such a great experience that I'm continuing my business to go to the camp next year. The extra money will go to the soccer complex we are building in my town. I learned that I should use a kind of thick medium ribbon so it is so it won't it won't look as full as it would if you did. I also wanted to make tying the ribbon on the ponytail easy. What you do is you take your ponytail and you take a piece of tape and you tape it down to your center. So that way when you are tying your ribbon on, the ponytail is not moving. Like. I also learned that stores may not have expensive ribbon and ponytail as another store in my town. That means you need to shop at the right stores in order to save money. I also learned that I should use a pink pink shears instead of a regular scissors because this won't the ribbon won't fray, and as you can see, they are different because this is bumpy and this is straight. I have accomplished a lot. For example, my growth sale this far is $315. I have paid off my investors, and I have also made a profit of $180. I have learned a lot doing this project, and I have also learned a lot about running a business, such as building an inventory, breaking even, and then spending to make a profit. I would like to thank Darren and Angie Trecko, also known as my mom and dad, for investing in my business. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to make hair cuts. If there are any questions, you may ask them now. How did you decide on your final price? The question was, how did I decide on my final price? Well, I started off with $5, and that sold pretty good. But then I started selling them for $4. First at my mom's work, and that actually sold really good, so I decided that to go to court. Any other questions? Thank you.